Okay folks and welcome back. We are going to do our complimentary color scheme brainstorming sheet today. So this would have been included in your packet. I've got my brainstorming sheet, I've got my pencil, eraser, I've got my sharpener. I like to keep it in an old Tupperware to keep my shavings off of the table. And then I've got the picture that I want to do for my complimentary color scheme. I've already thought about it and I love succulent plants so I'm going to do a little succulent. Um, I could be looking off my phone, but for the sake of you being able to see it, I've got the picture printed out. You don't have to print it out. You can look at a live object. You can look at an image on your phone. Again, this is just for your benefit. Okay, first step. Step one, choose one of these pairs of complementary colors. I could do red and green, yellow and violet, blue and orange. Those are our classic sets, the ones that have a primary and a secondary. I could also do tertiary complementary colors. These are still opposite each other on the color wheel. I could do red, orange, and blue, green, yellow, orange, and blue, violet, or yellow, green, and red, violet. Well, when I think of a succulent, it's kind of a yellow, green. So I think I might do yellow, green, and then I'll make my background a red, violet. Okay. Now the second step is to sketch your image. I can decide if I want to do it horizontally or I can turn my paper and do it vertically. I'm gonna do it vertically. All right, I'm gonna fast forward as I sketch. Just like we did before, I'm gonna look for the largest shapes first. So the largest shape is the shape of this whole thing, all the leaves together. And then there's kind of like a boxy half circle, half uh, square underneath. And then I'm going to kind of slow down and start looking for even smaller shapes. So I'm getting the curve of that. And then there's like a little U shape for those smaller leaves. And then I can start to find these larger shapes, which are kind of like, uh, kind of look like tongues, but that's kind of a weird shape. There, a little bit of pickle spears sometimes. Sometimes they're just half circles or hamburger buns. But I'm just gonna slowly find my shapes. This is not my final drawing. I'm just trying to make sure I like the way the object looks on the page. And I'm trying to make sure that it's easy to draw. I have done this before. I think I've even told you where I think something will be easy to draw, like a notoriously a pine cone. I thought it was easy. And then you start to draw it and it's actually quite difficult. I'm finding that this is actually quite difficult. There's lots of different leaves and lots of different parts. So you might get into your drawing and realize, oh, this is not for me. Better to figure that out on your brainstorming paper than on your final paper. So give it a little practice run. If it seems like it's doable, great. If not, abandon ship and go find something else. Okay, I said I was going to fast forward, but I've been talking this whole time. So maybe I'll fast forward as I finish drawing this and then I clean up the lines a little bit and I'll show you the next step.
Okay, um, you can see it's not a perfect drawing. It's still a little sketchy, that's fine. I just wanna make sure I like the way it fits on the paper, that it's something I think I can draw. And now I can start to note which colors are going to go where. So I'm going to remember that I want to do yellow green and red violet. I love that pair of colors. These are much more colors than you have. I acknowledge that. Um, so you might have to do some color blending. Whereas I have a really nice yellow green pre-made, you might just have like a yellow and a green. So you'll have to kind of mix them together. Um, same thing with the red violet. If you don't have a nice red violet pre-mixed like I do, then go ahead and grab a uh, violet. It might be labeled purple. Purple and violet are the same thing. And then a red. Okay, now I'm just going to mark what goes where. So I'm going to lightly color in everything I want to be yellow green, and I'm lightly going to color in everything I want to be red violet. All right, let's go ahead. Okay, there's my yellow green. Now I'm going to do the background red violet. Again, I don't have a red, well, I do have a perfectly made red violet, but if you don't, I'm just mixing two colors together. Here we go. Okay, so now I have my yellow green and my red violet uh, filled in on my paper, but there's still this section that's empty. So I could decide, do I wanna do like a lighter or darker version of each of these? Um, do I want this to be more red or green? Do I want this to be more uh, red, excuse me, more yellow green or more red violet? Well, I think I'm gonna make this more red violet, but I'm gonna make it a little bit redder um, so it's still going to be red violet-ish, but I'm going to push it a little bit more towards the red. So as I color this, I'll make it a little more red. And then I also decided that it looks a little empty at the bottom of my paper. So I might add a cast shadow, and then I'll make that a little more violet. So it's still going to be red violet. This part will be a little more red. This part will be a little more violet. I could also do a tint or a shade, so I could add a little bit of black to my red violet here and I could add a little bit of white to my red violet there. I might make that decision as I get into my final but for now I'll just make this more red and this more violet. Here I go. Okay, there is my brainstorming sheet. I want to make sure that I've really clearly indicated which color scheme I'm using, that I've sketched my picture and I've colored it in using that color scheme. Um, so my complementary colors. And uh, go ahead and take a nice clear picture and turn it in. See you soon.